Hello everyone and welcome to another Business Done Now product walkthrough and today we're talking about the QuickBooks Pro 2010 and you can definitely check that out at businessdonenow.com. You can go over there. We have a great deal going on um, for the QuickBooks Pro 2010 so I suggest going over there and checking it out. Um, there you can also view the uh, product introduction video where I just go over highlight a few of the product key features, give you a description about it, uh, tell you what's good and what's bad, what to look for. But uh, for this Business Done Now product walkthrough, I'm just going to show you how to get started with uh, the QuickBooks Pro 2010. That way you have an idea of when you do purchase it, uh, how to get started with it. So, you know, of course, basically once you get it, you're going to go ahead and you're going to install it. And um, most of the time it's going to be uh, saved to your desktop. I have it in my application, so I just got to uh, pull it up here. Applications. Wait for it to... Uh, here we go. Okay, so basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to File and go New Company because obviously you bought this for your company, but I guess you could use this for uh, personal use too. Um, that would definitely be helpful. But um, yeah, so you just go ahead and put your company name in here. I'll just put like New Company here. And then here you just put in your address. Zero, like West Street, I don't know. Just some information in there. The date your company started. Uh, this is information for your taxes. Uh, let's just go ahead here and choose sole proprietor. But of course, here's where you would choose um, the one that fits your business. Just a bunch of tax information right there. And then we go through. And, and here you would enter in your federal ID number. But uh, if you don't know it, you can just skip it for now if you don't have it handy. Then here you're going to want to do is choose your industry that you're going to be in. Here you have a bunch of lists of different ones that you can choose from. Uh, legal service, lawn care, landscaping, restaurant. Uh, so uh, basically it's all right there for you. Just pick the one that best fits your business. Otherwise you can just choose like a general service or a general product based business. And that's what we're going to pick. We'll just pick the general one. And then here you're going to choose the accounts that you want to have in your QuickBooks. And you're probably going to need all of these here. So if you want to be on the safe side, you can just uh, go through and uh, select all of them. But you can see here they've highlighted a few of them. But you're, like I said, you're probably going to need all of them at some point. So you might as well just go ahead and select all of them for you. So you can go ahead and you can do that. Otherwise, if you want to, you know, just pick the few that uh, that you're going to need. And then once you have that done, just go over here, click finish, and congratulations, you have it set up, and your company's been created, so just go ahead and click OK. And then you're going to have the Guide Me feature come up, and here it's just going to highlight a few things about QuickBook for you, and you can go ahead and view this and, and get a little better understanding of all the features that uh, the QuickBooks Pro 2010 has. Um, I'm not going to go through all those features right now. I just want to keep this really simple, really straightforward. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. But that's definitely something to take a look at. That's going to allow you to uh, explore, you know, QuickBooks a little bit more, and uh, definitely use all of its features. But um, here's the chart of accounts. I have to fix this here. Just be a minute. All right. Okay. So basically, here's something that you're going to want to do. Remember when we uh, selected all those accounts that we want? They're going to be right over here up in the header. Here's going to be your company name and then the chart of accounts that you have. One that they don't have here is checking, and I think that's one that you're definitely going to want to have. So go ahead and click the plus sign. The type is going to be a bank, and then I would just name this checking right here. And then you can enter in a description, whatever else you want. Uh, opening balance, let's just put in 5000 as an opening balance for your company. Go ahead and click OK. And then you can see that you now have a checking account selected here. And I think this is definitely going to be the one that you're going to use most. Uh, this is how I keep track of my deposits and my expenses for my business. I just keep it real simple uh, with, this, uh, with this checking account right here. 
So you can go ahead and double click it and open it up. And this is what it's going to look like. And anytime that you have an expense or anytime that you make a deposit, uh, I would go ahead and I would use this. So let's say that we have an expense here. Let's say it was check number 102. And then here's uh, the payee. So let's say that we went to FedEx office. Okay, went to FedEx office for uh, some business cards. Okay, so basically once you click out of there, it's gonna tell you that uh, it has not found this vendor in your list. Uh, so you're basically gonna have to add all these different vendors that you make a payment to. You can click on setup and this is gonna allow you to add a little bit more information about your vendors, uh, you know, the people that you do make these payments to. You can go ahead and do that, otherwise you can do what I choose to do is just really quick, just do a quick add and it's gonna add it there and here's where you're gonna get to choose if it's a vendor, customer, employee, or if it's just uh, an other category altogether, but most of the time it's just going to be a vendor. So go ahead and click OK. It's a vendor. And then down here was the memo that we clicked on. So let's say that we went to FedEx office and we got business cards made. So that was our expense, business cards. Okay, and then here, uh, this is where when, at the beginning when we, uh, you know, when I told you to select all those accounts because you're probably going to need them from some points. This is where you're going to find them. Of course, you're going to see checking, but that's what we're using right now. So you just go ahead and you would find the account that best fits uh, the business cards, the FedEx office ex expense that we had, or, uh, you know, whatever it was that you decided to enter in there. So basically, I don't know if I added the right one over here. Um, so I just went through it really quick. Let's see. Um, let's just go office supplies for now. Uh, that might not be the correct one uh, because I didn't take time to go through it all. I just did it really quick. I should have selected them all, but uh, we'll just put it under office supplies for now. And right here is where we would put the payment. So let's say it costed us $40 for the business card. So you go ahead and you enter that and uh, click enter. Oops. Don't put the dollar sign. <laughs> and then you can see right there, it went ahead and it deducted the $40 from the $5,000 that we uh, used as the initial deposit for our business. And uh, yeah, that's basically what you would go through. And uh, you just keep track of all the checks that you uh, wrote or all the you know payments that you had to make for your business right through here. And you can also go through and you can add a deposit right here is where you would put the deposit amounts. And... Um, you know, here you could choose from um, how you got the income. So maybe you got it from like a sales, those income from sales. You can write a little memo and uh, be on your way. So like here, let's just say we had like a sales income of $300. And we go ahead and add that. You just keep, keep track of it this way. I think this is the easiest way to get started with QuickBooks. And it's the best way to get started with it. Just keep it real simple. But, um, you know, feel free to explore it a little bit more and uh, see uh, see what else you can do. Obviously, there's so much more, but I just wanted to get you started with it, uh, get you comfortable with it, uh, so that you have a good experience with uh, QuickBooks Pro 2010. But, um, you know, that's it for now. Obviously, if you want to know a little bit more, like the Guide Me will probably help you a little bit, so you can just turn that on and off right there. But uh, this has been Jason with Business Done Now, and this has been our product walkthrough for the QuickBooks Pro 2010, so definitely go to uh, www.businessdonenow.com to check out uh, QuickBooks Pro 2010, and I will see you on another Business Done Now product walkthrough.